Hey guys, this is Joe with GotBaseballCards.com coming to you live from our retail superstore in Loganville, Georgia. Here today with Jamie Stevens, one of our number one customers. We're here today to launch our Profiles in Collecting series. What this is, this is episode one. This is going to be a series of episodes that we launch to Facebook and YouTube where we will be interviewing collectors about what they collect, personal interests, human interest stories. And uh, so Jamie's got a real interesting one. So we're just going to get started and jump right in. Jamie, tell me how you got, got into collecting. Well, I went to an auction. Uh, actually, it was a car auction. It had some sports memorabilia, all kind of different memorabilia. And uh, was there to actually purchase a car. And uh, baseball cards came up. I collected baseball cards when I was younger. And uh, just, I thought there was an opportunity there. So five pallets of cards later, I've got a lot of 80s, and you know the value of those. Yep. I came into Joe and asked Joe, are these worth anything? He broke my heart. But I did make a good relationship here and a lot of good friends and got into collecting. The, and the main thing, I stayed with the pursuit of it, uh, going through some health issues, the doctors said I needed to find something to occupy my mind after work. And it was just something that I could do and keep my mind sharp. Awesome. So now, that, how, how many months ago was that? Was that last summer? Uh, February. Or, 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 I, I think the longer? auction was at the end of February. And then I got really serious with the, the collecting of the new stuff, probably late March, April. Okay. So now what, uh, I know this, but our viewers don't, what, what do you focus on primarily now? I, I started out loving just the vintage, um, and you guys kind of, with the breaks and everything you got going on, it kind of uh, twisted me into the, the new stuff. Right. And it, the new stuff is hard to get away from just because it's so nice. It's really nice stuff. Yeah. Uh, so I the older stuff, I like the late 50s, early 60s. Uh, the newer stuff, I like Akunas and things of that. That's kind of the person I'm on right now is trying to get as many Akuna cards as I possibly right. can and Otani's, of course. All right, tell me about your mantle collection. Uh, the mantle collection, uh, I, I wish I had more fives and sixes, but those are very hard to come by, as you know. Uh, I do have one 52, I think it is, 52, that I got from you, a 52. Is it wasn't a 52. I hadn't had any rookies. 50, anyway. 53, I'm 53. sorry. 53, yeah, top. Yeah. I'm sorry. I wish it was a 52. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here. I, would I, have I wish I had sold I'd you one. I'd be somewhere on a beach somewhere. <laughs> But uh, 53 tops, that's, that's my best mantle card. Yeah. I have a lot of the late 50s, uh, 60s. I do have a 7 and an 8 in the 1960s, PSA 7 and 8 in the 1960s set. So okay. pretty good. Now, I remember last year you came to the National. Tell us what that experience was like as a first-timer at the National. You know, I, I raced cars for over 20 years. So I was used to a big stage and of, of that magnitude, yeah. but that was so different. Uh, my son and I went and we absolutely had a ball, one of the best experiences of my life. And of course, we've already made reservations for next year. Right. There's just, there's so much to do. I, I saw people come in and would be gone in a six hour stretch. You know, we'd see them come in the door and then leave six mm. hours later. And we haven't got one row. Right. You know, we were there the entire time from when it opened to it closed and still did not hit every row. Yeah. Because to do it right, it takes a lot of time, as you know. Oh, yeah. But it is a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, for any of you watching, if you've never attended a National Sports Collectors Convention, we always recommend that. Uh, as I was telling somebody here in our store the other day, whether I was setting up as a vendor or not, I would be there in attendance because it's like a vacation for me. It's just, it's always a blast. There's so much, so much you see that you will never see anywhere else. Um, let's see, so Jamie, so you, you collect the Kuna, I know you collect Mantles. You got any other favorites that you? Uh, Nolan Ryan is by far my favorite. Okay. I have, I'm, my goal is to get an auto from every year, which is very difficult because in the 60s, this has to be the old fashioned hand on deal mm -hmm. because you know they didn't make them back then like right. they do now um i have a lot of them but i have a long way to go but yeah. i do have the rookie card sign so that's good cool all right and what uh do you recommend for people who buy vintage do you, do you recommend buying graded or raw absolutely got to be graded yeah. it's just you just get burned so bad if yeah. you don't tell us your own experience with that 
Well, I brought in cards to be graded, and you said, and this is it's a learning process. I mean, you're not going to learn it overnight. It is a learning process. A card you look at and you say, "Hey, this card is crystal clear." I had a Kofax like that, a rookie Kofax. You hold it up to the light, and you see a small, small crease in the very corner that you cannot see with the naked eye. The difference of that card being an eight and being a four. And those are valuable lessons to learn, but you know, that's part of it. You have to take the good with the bad. So. Right. Well, again, you mentioned JJ, your son. It's always great to have a family who two generations are collecting. Tell me about his favorite stuff. He, he loves football, which is ironic because when I was younger, that's mainly what I collected was football and just a little baseball. Now I mainly collect baseball with just a little football. So right. it balances out. But like go back to the Nationals, he probably met, 10 stars, five Hall of Famers, that if we don't go to Nationals, if we don't get into this, he never meets them. Yeah. So just that by itself, to me, is worth a lot, you know? Yeah. I mean, and then we're leaving the Nationals. He meets Mike Tyson, because Mike Tyson was on a plane, gets his photo with Mike Tyson and Heinz Ward. So, you know, cool. just the whole experience. There's, there's a lot to, lot to be said there besides the collecting aspect of it. Sure. All right, so this year, I know some of the products he's like. What's what's been some of your absolute favorite products of, of new releases this year? My my favorite is the Luminaries. It's it's by far my favorite. My second is the Bowman's Best that just came out, okay. and I think that's probably been the hottest item I'd say of the year. Would you not say that? So that we've seen so far. Right. Yeah. It's 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 unbelievable. It's a very very nice product. Okay. All right. Um, any uh, any words of advice for? collectors who are just getting started as one who's just been in it about a year now be cautious uh of who you buy from and also get a relationship with somebody besides the collecting aspect of it there's someone you can trust because this is such a trust oriented business right. you have to have someone that you can trust and that's why i come here so yeah. and we appreciate all the business <laughs> and and so um I guess the only other thing I'd think of is uh, what do you wish card companies did that you're not seeing out there in products? If you had a dream product you could create, what would be in it? Probably anything without a redemption. Good call. I'm a, collect I'm a collector of cards and now became a collector of redemptions. I have up to 32, 33, I'm waiting on that now. But what I, what I would like to probably see is a product uh, similar to Bowman's Best, where you had more autos, even if it was a little bit more for the auto collectors. Uh, even if it had to be something that was packaged separately, you still had your base cards, mm -hmm. but maybe double the amount of autos with the same amount of base cards, even at a higher price, I think it would sell. Okay. All right. So Tops, Panini, Upper Deck, hope y'all are all listening. Great advice from a uh, uh, collector who's just who's getting into it over the last year. So, uh, that's about all I have. Anything else you'd like to share to the collecting world out there? It just be patient. And if you get a little aggravated or a little overwhelmed at times, which does happen, yeah. just step away and then come back. Yeah. All right. Good, good words. So, <laughs> well, guys, we thank y'all all for tuning in. Again, this is Joe. We've got baseballcards.com with Jamie Stevens. And uh, we appreciate you tuning in. Hope y'all come see us here at a retail store. And uh, we'll have an a ongoing series here of profiles and collecting. So we hope you'll tune in next time. Thanks so much, and we'll see you soon.